In an earlier lesson, I went through the three rules that you can use when drawing lens ray diagrams, and here they are. Go in parallel to the principal axis, come out on a line through the focal point, go in to the focal point, come out parallel to the principal axis, or head towards the center of the lens and just keep going. Recall that in lens ray diagrams, there is a focal point on each side of the lens. Here is a reminder of the different variables that are used with regard to lenses and their sign conventions. So we're going to use a ray diagram to locate the image for this object, indicated by the blue arrow. Notice that we have a focal point on each side of the lens, and here in the top picture we have a converging lens. The height of the object indicates its height above the principal axis. There's the focal length, which for a converging lens would be a positive number if we were doing calculations. There's the object distance, p, and we want to find the image distance. So rule number one says go parallel to the principal axis and then the light is going to be refracted through the focal point. Now, we know that actually the light bends at the boundary. So in reality it would bend right here and it would bend again right there. But we're going to simplify things by bending the light only once at the center line of the lens. Rule number three says line up the top of the object with the center of the lens and just keep right on going. That means that our image would be right over there. This would be a real image because these light rays really do converge and it's going to be an inverted image. All real images are inverted. H prime will be negative here. Q will be positive. Q is positive for real images. H prime is negative, so it's inverted. It's a real image. Q is positive. Let's try the next one. Again, we have the height, H. We have the focal length. Focal length is indicated by little f. Focal point is indicated by capital F. Here we see that the object distance is less than the focal length. Rule number one says go in parallel to the principal axis and refract through the focal point. Rule number two says line up the tip of the object with a focal point and head towards the lens and then refract out parallel to the principal axis. Now those two refracted rays don't intersect so we need to project those refracted rays backwards and there they appear to intersect right here which will give us a virtual image. This will have a negative Q because it's a virtual image and a positive H prime. Remember that we only need two of the three possible rays to give us our image. This is a larger upright virtual image which is what you're going to get every time your object is between the focal point and a converging lens. So now we have an object that is at the focal point with a converging lens. Rule number one says go in parallel, refract through the focal point. Rule number two says line up the top of the object with a focal point and then come out parallel. That's really not going to work too well here, so we're going to use rule number three, which says head towards the center of the lens and keep going. These two rays will not intersect. Their projections will not intersect. Therefore, we're going to get no image. So, with a converging lens, when you have your object at a focal point, you get no image. Down at the bottom of the page we have a diverging lens and it turns out that for a diverging lens you only get one answer, smaller upright virtual, and we'll see that. Now what we need to do here is rule number one says go in parallel to the principal axis, but this is a diverging lens which means these light rays are going to need to spread out, not converge on the other side. Therefore this ray is lined up with this focal point not the focal point on the right as we've done in the past. Rule number three, go through the center of the lens and just keep going. That's the easiest one. Those rays will not intersect. If we project them backwards, we will get 
light rays appearing to converge at this point. That is an upright image, it's a smaller image, and it's a virtual image. Q will be negative, H prime will be positive. For ray diagrams with converging lenses, three results are possible. If the object distance P is greater than the focal length F, we get an inverted real image. If P equals F, we get no image, or an image at infinity. If P is less than the focal length F, we get a larger upright virtual image. For diverging lenses, only one answer is possible, no matter how the object distance P compares to the focal length F, smaller, upright, virtual, every time. Here, the object distance P and the object height H are assumed to be positive. Therefore, real images with positive Qs are inverted with negative H primes, and virtual images, which have negative Qs, are upright with positive H primes. For any image, Q and H prime have opposite signs.